This is the get to know a booktuber book tag. Number one, what is your channel about? My channel tries to pull apart all elements of storytelling, characters, plot, writing, any kind of narrative devices, and we focus in mostly in books and mostly in speculative fiction like fantasy, science fiction, and horror. We do reach out sometimes to straight crime thrillers or mystery, and I do also sometimes go in depth with TV shows or movies and just once on a video game, although I'd like to do it again. How how old are you? Age is a number and it's probably higher than you think, but uh, all cards on the table, I'm 37. Number three, relationship status. I've been married for about seven years at this point. Number four, did you go to college and what's your current job? I did go to college, I have my bachelor's in English and currently I am a technical writer. Number five, where did you come from and where do you live now? I was born and raised in Massachusetts and I moved to Alabama when I was 23 and obviously I've been here for about a decade now. Number six, what would you tell your 10 year old self? Literally nothing. I can't think of a single thing that would be worth telling my 10 year old self. Number seven, tell us about your family. So my adult family is gonna be my husband. We also have a dog. And then if you're talking about my immediate family, family. I've got a mom and a dad and a brother and a sister. Number eight, what's your favorite holiday? Halloween, obviously. Go check out my goth party I do every year. Number nine, what's your dream vacation? I would kill to be able to do a cruise to Antarctica. Not only is it very expensive, but it also is a long time. So it's unlikely that I'll be able to ever do it just because I can't imagine taking that much time off of work and having enough money for all the clothing and the tickets and the tour stuff. But it is something that I've just wanted to do since I knew it was a thing. <laughs> Number 10, what's your biggest pet peeve? I'm gonna say rude and presumptuous people. They generally go hand in hand. Number 11, what book changed your life? There have been so many books that have completely changed my outlook or the way I think about or do things. Just this year, I would say that Manhunt by Gretchen Felker Martin, Hollow Beast by Elisa Lynn Valdez, and Dracula by Bram Stoker have probably all significantly impacted my life and outlook and have had interesting applications for me. Number 12, what simple invention has changed the world? For me, it's kind of like a toss up between either the internet or the modern day smartphone. I'm leaning towards the internet because the modern day smartphone in me has significantly less application and use if you don't have that as a basis, but it has 100% changed how we interact day to day and it has changed what kind of opportunities and information and all kinds of stuff that I think has made my life and other people's lives generally better. Number 13, what is your favorite TV show and movie? I don't watch a ton of TV shows. I guess if we're talking about modern things, one of the Star Trek series, if we're talking about of all time, probably the OA. And movie wise, I think my favorite modern one is going to be Nope. And probably the movie I come back to the most and rewatch the most is V for Vendetta. Number 14, describe yourself in three fictional characters. I guess I would put Katniss from The Hunger Games, Moss Cab from the Psalm for the Wild Bill, and then insert your third geeky, awkward character from whatever who overfocuses on minute details, and that one's probably me. 15, what would be your dream job? And I don't know exactly what it would be, it'd be something creative in nature. I guess being like a full-time academic of some sort would also be pretty awesome. A fantasy author that could do that work full-time. Those kind of gigs seem very appealing to me. I'm going to assume that when we're talking about dream job, it means that I would be stable enough that I could do it in a way that I enjoyed and love and not in a way that I'd have to churn and burn to continually pump stuff out. So yeah, writer would probably be it in that case. Number 16, what's the first spell you would learn if magic was real and why? And I'm going to say, some kind of standard glamour would be the first thing I'd learn. Number one, because I think glamour is very simple and like basic level and I'd want to start with something easy. But number two, because I think looks do matter a lot in our society and being able to change something like your eye color or your lip color or the way your hair is perceived or maybe like making your outfit look newer or slightly different than it actually does without having to invest all that time, money, resource. It could just be something that you imagine and now 
was your reality would be really cool. I also think it would be really fun to like be able to disguise yourself very easily if you wanted to. Because certainly if I had enough money I'd want to play dress up all the time so I think like magic might be the quick solution to that. Not to mention I wouldn't have to get in and out of all those clothes and worry about my skincare routine because of the makeup. Like the whole nine yards would just be so much better with the glamour. Number 17 is what's your favorite childhood memory and this is gonna be my skip question. I don't really know and I'm not gonna sit here and try and think about it. Number 18, what's your favorite social media? Obviously that's YouTube. I don't think I exist on any other social medias at this point in time. So uh, yeah, if you see me around anywhere but here, probably not me. What fictional characters would you like to bring to life? Obviously Moss Cat from the Psalm for the Wild Bill, who doesn't want a positive, energetic, inquisitive robot to exist. But also I'd really love to see Jody from Hollow Beast come to life and be out in the world as a force of good. And I'd also love to see Fran and Beth come to life here and get to live a normal life outside of the apocalypse they're stuck in in Manhunt. Number 20, what's your favorite animal? Probably a dog. I guess if we're going exotic it's a toss-up between a tiger and an orca, but day-to-day -day life dogs. Number 21, what old person trait do you have? I go to bed early and I wake up early. Number 22, what's your hidden talent? I'm very good at getting information out of people. I suppose it doesn't seem like a hidden talent, but because I'm pretty quiet and introverted and a little bit awkward, I think people are surprised by how much they end up telling me and how much I remember and what kind of connections I can make with that sort of information. Number 23, where do you see yourself in five years? I don't really know. Pretty much where I am now, I guess. Number 24, show an item and describe its significance. This guy is a housewarming plant that my friend got me when we first moved to this home and it is the only plant he's given me that I've successfully kept alive. And that's going to be the get to know a booktuber tag. I've got the original creators of this tag in the description below and I was inspired to do this tag by Tangible Reads. I saw her take on it and thought it might be a fun quick one to do. And I'm going to tag Jack in the book stack and reading with Tatiana. Thanks for watching and if you got this far into the video leave me a book emoji. And as always, keep reading. Bye!